Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nova Cream, and welcome to a very exciting video because I'm pretty sure a majority of you agree that it's better to drive slow cars fast than fast cars slow, is that right? I think so, yes. Yeah, so let's talk about your little baby. So right. first prominent thing is of course the seat, it really just jumps into our view. Um, Non-fixable, non, non I mean non-adjustable, non so fully fixed for you. Fully fixed for me, yes. Yeah, good. Then, Nankang and S2Rs? Indeed, yes. Yeah. Uh, 205, 4516. Nice. And what else? Uh, what we don't see. Big shifter, very big shifter. Yes, such an engineering shifter. Yeah. What you don't see, camber plates on the rear, front ball joints on the front from the DS3R, uh -huh. for camber on the front. Then there's a set of brakes that you can obviously see on the front. Quite big for the car. Yes, uh, so it's a 305 mil setup with yeah. a four piston caliper. Case port? It's high spec motorsports. Ah, okay, because I barely see uh, SP here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, very similar to the Peugeot 406 caliper. All right. With a bigger disc. What pads are you running? Uh, Mintex 1155s. Okay. Uh, and. I believe I saw a different suspension as well. Yes, Mühlstein B14. Uh, nice. And what's the power of this? Uh, it's around 125 horsepower. <laughs> well, I'm already 100 kilos. So, well, almost. I'm, I'm like 93. I'm close too. So. Yeah, so it's already like the power to weight ratio is not going to be... And what's the car weight? The car itself weighs... Uh, dry is 1060. And okay. With fluids, it's one thousand one hundred and sixty kilos. Yeah. So with us twelve hundred, so we have a one on ten power to weight ratio, roughly. Yes. Nice. Well, let's hop in and do a lap. I really love your dashboard. Yeah. It's simple. <laughs> and it's stuck. Yeah. Right. But it looks like so racy, you know. That could be like on some '90s GT1 race car, like a McLaren F1 or something. Yep. Exactly. Like S two thousand even had something similar, and this is just on the C two. Getting hot. I guess no aircon life, huh? Uh, AC cuts at 6,000 RPM. Then when you drop back to uh, normal revs, it cuts back in. So the pump goes on and off. Okay. <laughs> uh, not ideal for... Uh, What's the red line? 8? Uh, 7,200. Okay.
I'm in the car, I like it. <laughs> a big smile on my face for such a small car. Because like you say, you can just keep the momentum through the corners and have fun. And that's the thing with cars that don't have a massive amount of power. Yeah. Because you have to keep the speed and the momentum up to Yeah. Face going and yeah. kind of be fast type of thing. Yeah. But it's also a great car for beginning to learn the track. Yeah. Because it's more important to learn the line than to immediately go fast or try to be fast.
keeping the momentum is key, that's very much very capable car. It's good that the rest is well set up, like the brakes and the suspension. It's very nice. Thanks. So you know you're a grumpy driver. Me. No, the other one. Okay. Lauren. Yeah. He was my instructor. So he taught me everything I know about the track and where to shift and where to uh, not break and all that stuff. He taught you to brake very hard, that I can tell you. <laughs> Sometimes you brake a bit too hard yes, for certain I corners. I do. Like you can really go less on the brake so you can have more momentum. Like it's just yeah. like with this car especially it's more to settle the car than braking. Because then it's actually uh, a lot of parts it's also will slow down by itself because it goes uphill for example. So there you already apply less braking. But for the rest, good. Uh, the good handling of corners and that's important you know how to work the weight and that's that's good nice pleased to hear yeah picking of the devil i think lauren is on the front right <laughs> so now he's instructing that car quite often that has to be something fun to instruct depends if you have very inexperienced drivers who never been on track before and Fair would point. like yes. to show off. Uh, yeah, and do just like a checklist list box. I've been on the Nova in the Porsche G3 RS and I overtook everyone. <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> then it could be quite tricky. Yeah. But overall, it's nice. Hope you guys enjoyed as well. And see you in tomorrow's video. I don't know what's gonna happen. But something's definitely gonna happen at the Nürburgring because always things are happening, even when things are not happening.